Thank God it went in. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just been struggling a little bit shooting um, this year, but my teammates just keep telling me, my coaches keep telling me to shoot it. So uh, to hit that shot and gain a little bit of confidence is that was huge for me and uh, my teammates. But I'm gonna keep shooting until I find it. But that was fun. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> and then that, you know, the next play down, uh, you hit another tough shot there mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. uh, I always hear DJ. <laughs> we hear her in the locker room. We hear her everywhere. She is like literally the loudest person in the world. So we always hear DJ. <laughs> always. But that's what I like about her. You know, her energy kind of it, it translates onto the court to us. And uh, when we see her up, we kind of get into it. So when she's when she's not there, we know she's not herself. So yeah, shout out to her. <laughs> Maggie, go ahead. Then Becky. Mike, huh? no, need a <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, the energy that she's, she's brought since she's been here has been uh, amazing, you know, defensively, offensively. She, uh, she's always on go. Um, I think that's a, a good way to say it. Um, but um, just, you know, when she's coming off screens and attacking, getting downhill, um, that's when she's at her best. And, and we love that. And, you know, if uh, teams keep, you know, she's creating a double team or whatever, um, she's finding the open man and making the right reads. And then defensively, you know, she's uh, she's out there um, getting seals, you know, um, you know, doing everything that we need her need from her, and uh, you know, it's been great. I've loved playing with her so far. Becky, go ahead. Um, you know, I was wondering, um, also the the four point play, like your reaction to it was so like fired up. Um, is that is that the kind of energy that you you guys play with all the time? And like coming coming into this week, you have three home games, and mm -hmm. you just need to be fired up the whole time. Is that? Um. Yeah, we. I think we all pretty much play that way. Uh, yeah. I think we just play for each other. So when that went in, I, it was more so for my teammates because, like I said, I haven't been shooting that well, and it's been like, uh, for me, I'm really hard on myself, um, missing a, a lot of open shots. So those first few games, it was really rough. I was kind of hard on myself. So to see that go in, it was just like, I got y'all. It's just be patient with me. It's coming. It's coming. Type of thing. So. Yeah, that's kind of what went through my, my mind. Do you think um, the, the first half you guys played, your, especially the first quarter, was so much pace, mm -hmm. like just up and down, like mm -hmm. great passing, great, great pace. Um, do you think the offense is starting to click a little bit in times like that? Definitely. I feel like um, since you know the first game till now, we definitely have uh, improved. Um, you know the way we're moving, moving the ball on offense, and uh, you know making reads out of it. Um, I think we're definitely a lot more comfortable. Um, she's still throwing a, a few little curveballs in there at us, <laughs> but um, I think we're, we're doing a good job of picking it up on the fly. Azar. Um, credit you know yeah. uh, I think we, we have a really smart group um, I think we had a really good group last year defensively but this year I think we just got a lot of people a lot of gritty people that want to play defense you know even coming off the bench with DJ uh, Ty Harris but I don't know if we do it for credit I think we do it more so because that's what we want to win the championship so everybody know that saying defense wins championships so uh, yeah we know we have a lot of offensive power but if we lock in on defense I, I, put, I really believe that this team is pretty much unstoppable um, we had some slips <laughs> in the second half, like third or fourth quarter, but we just all we come together like, all right, let's regroup, let's lock in on, let's get a stop, and then it leads to, you know, transition. So uh, not sure if we do it for credit, but we definitely lock in and do it for ourselves. We're going to go to Zoom. We're going to go to Pat on Zoom. Go ahead, Pat. Hi, guys. Um, this is the first team in the WNBA to six wins. Obviously a huge week coming up with a finals rematch. Can you guys talk a little bit about uh, where you are as to where you expect it to be and what you want to get out of this week, other than obviously uh, two wins against against the Aces. But what what are you looking for in these games that's going to show a difference between, you know, the finals team last year and this team? Yeah, no, I think um, every day we're, we're getting a little bit better. And I think, um, you know, we're not where we want to be or where we know we're going to be, you know, um, at the end of the season. But I think every every day we're getting better. Um, we're, we're closing out tight games. Um, 
um, and, and finishing uh, finishing close games that you know we could let slip, but we're we're, we're definitely grinding our way uh, to these wins in the end. Um, so I think uh, every day that we can um, grind out a win, and when our offense stops flowing and we're we're getting stops, I think um, that's gonna you know help us down the road. Thanks, Pat. Um, news talk, New England. Go ahead on Zoom. Hey, Tiffany Williams here for News Talk, New England. You guys remain um, unbeatable at home right now. How does that feel for you guys? Sorry, undefeated at home. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great, you know, to be undefeated at home. Um, when we uh, can be out here pre performing in front of our fans and uh, uh, getting wins at home, and you know, keeping that um, what's the word I'm looking for? Momentum. That okay. That momentum uh, here at home. I think um, uh, that's great. You know, <laughs> we know how great our crowd can be, and uh, you know, we're doing it for them and for each other. Thanks. Any more questions in the room? Vicky, last question. Um, my initial impression when she got here, um, you know, she came in uh, ready. She was bringing a new offense and, uh, and a new, um, you know, everything system uh, for us. And uh, just being able to, to lock in to the things that she's asking us to do um, and commit to that. I think we, we've all done that and it shows. And she's, um, you know, done a great job of leading us uh, this far. All right. Thanks, guys. You're all set. I'm trying to tell her to look at my muscles in that. Yeah, no. Um, just again, really proud of our group. Um, you know, we we were battle tested um, coming into this game, and it was no different here tonight. I mean, Dallas is a team that's gritty. They're tough. Uh, they can score, and and they can they can defend. And you know, in the second half, they made runs, and and we didn't um, you know we didn't execute in all the ways that we wanted to, um, but we still made winning plays uh, when we needed to make winning plays, and. You know, that's just a tribute to the players that we have on the floor and continuing to find ways to to ride the um, the ups and downs and ebbs and flow throughout the game and, and find ways to come away with with wins. Tyler, you mentioned you know, coming into this game, the challenge of you know, slowing down their you know, big three of you know, Enrique, Stasio, and you know, Natasha Howard. Um, you, know, you guys help Enrique and Natasha to you know, their peace and lows. Just well, I think we really made an intentional effort to make everything um, with Arike um, tough. Her catch is tough. Her shot's tough. You know, we sent multiple players to her, making her make decisions, um, just trying to keep her off balance as, as much as possible. Um, you know, it helped us that Natasha Howard was in foul trouble, and that's a tribute to Breezy, you know, really offensively going at her to start. Um, Breezy doing an outstanding job of getting really good position and her teammates finding her so that she can go to work. Um, you know, look, you know, every team in this league has multiple, multiple go-to players on their team, and we have to be able to, to mix up how we play um, different players at different times, and I thought our team did a good job of that tonight. You know, I think we can, we're continuing just to grow in our confidence with one another. I think we're continuing to grow offensively in our execution. I felt like in the first half, our offensive execution was, was much better. You know, certainly you know, um, go back and watch the film and see if that's accurate. Um, but our spacing was better. The ball was moving. We were finding open players. Um, you could just see more space on the floor. Uh, now we need, to, we need to be able to carry that over when teams 
make runs at us. We can't get tunnel visioned. You know, we can't continue to hold the ball. Um, and then defensively, you know, I felt like we did a really good job in the first half of executing in the game plan. And the second half, um, you know, we put ourselves in, in some gray areas. Um, and then a lack of communication really added to that. So just tighten up some things from that end of, of it, we can over communicate and we can we can solve a lot of ills if we will just communicate on the defensive end of the floor. Um, so, you know, I certainly want to take the good things that we did. We want to continue to have smaller amounts or shorter amounts of times where teams are making runs at us that, that are unanswered. Um, but at the end of the day, again, that this group just does such a good job of, of, of making winning plays when we need them. Um, and, and, you know, they, they just, they know how to, they know how to, they know how to do it and they do, a, they do a good job when we need it. Yeah, you know, I, I don't, I just, I don't understand why people are surprised. You know, I, um, I envisioned us being in positions to win ball games. Absolutely. You know, this group has had the one of the best records in the league for the last, I don't even know how many years, right? And yes, we we lost a big piece, um, but we gained a lot of other pieces that complement our core group so well. Um, and and this core group. Um, has played together and they understand how to win and they understand that, you know, every single day is going to be a battle and they embrace that and they just have winning mentalities. So, um, you know, and, and again, we don't really care about the expectations of other people. Um, we know this group that we have. We're continuing to, to work to, to being a little bit more cohesive, um, to, to understand, you know, how our, 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 our bench players continue to complement our starters and, and where we kind of find that that balance. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, when you have players like AT and DB and, and, and Breezy um, and Tiff Hayes, I mean, it, it, you, and, you know, T who was starting point guard on a team that went to the, the championship, you know, it's, they just understand what it takes. And, and, you know, I don't think you see as much game to game inconsistencies with this group. And that allows us to have opportunities to win ball games. Pat on Zoom, go ahead. Stephanie, um, AT I think has now uh, five double doubles in her last six games. Can you just talk about, as a first year coach coming in, what it means to have her on this team, especially you mentioned the core, but having someone who buys into what you're trying to do as a first year head coach, can you just talk about that a little bit? She's just a winner, you know, she's a winner. And I think it's easy on from the outside looking in to, to say, how does she do it? Well, she works, you know, she works her tail off. She's relentless. She never stops. She has a high IQ. Um, she demands excellence from those around her. Um, and, you know, I think that um, for me, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing and a bonus to be able to have, have somebody with her toughness, energy, and mentality on the floor. Um, and, you know, she doesn't have to do it on her own. And I think that's a great attribute to, to DB, whether it's she's in the huddle um, in practice or in a game communicating. Um, you know, Breezy leads by example quietly and pulls people over to the side. So I think that they really complement one another, you know, so well. But, but having a player like Alyssa Thomas, who's, who's just a joy to coach and who lays it out there every single day. I mean, not a lot of coaches get an opportunity to coach somebody like that. So I'm really thankful. I think the goal is to play the same every time, you know, and the goal is for us to to minimize, um, you know, the, the the lulls and runs throughout the course of a game. Um, you know, I, this is this isn't a quote unquote rematch because we're different teams now. You know, they've got different pieces, we have different pieces. Um, you know, I, I hope that you know for us, um, 
and, and what I expect from us is just to come in and, and prepare to win a ball game, uh, no matter who the opponent is. They have a lot of weapons. Um, you now we're going to have to, to pick our poison in, in, in what we're going to not give up, but, but what we're going to settle for and, and what we're going to try to take away. Uh, we're gonna, it's a tremendous challenge to our staff to, to change it, continue to change it up throughout the course of a game. Um, and a and challenge for our, for our team to maintain, you know, a level of play through a 40 minute game. Um, and again, you know, we're still, even though it's the, the season is a sprint and a marathon, we're still early in the season. So I think having an opportunity to get Vegas a couple of times right now is really good for us to, to figure out, hey, where are we matching up with, with a team that, that won a championship and that's a favorite to win a championship? And where are some areas that, that we need to continue to grow and get better? Yeah, I'm really proud of her. Um, you know, there there are not um, a lot of players who are willing to sacrifice offense for defense. And there are going to be some nights where you have to do that. And I feel like T, you know, so much of a heavy focus for us with her has been was how she's going to stick with Arike like glue, really. Um, and, you know, she didn't shoot the ball particularly well, um, but that didn't matter. Uh, she exhausted herself defensively. She did what she was asked to do. Um, she did her job to, you know, and, and, and I feel like, you know, she, she and, and, and Dijanae, when she came in too, I mean, when you're, when you're asked to check one of the best players in the league, um, every possession, not let her get anything, it's going to weigh heavily on you. And I felt like they r rose up to that challenge um, exactly like we would have wanted them to. Um, and at the, sometimes at the expense of their offense, um, but that's okay because we have pieces that can that can help shoulder that load for them. So I, I'm really proud of them for the job that they did here today. Last question, Dad. I guess. I know today you rotated a lot of players, a few players, and taking some of those off the top is a challenge. Is it easy to just talk about that? Because the way we have been playing a lot of men, it really felt comfortable rotating on the usual rotation. And we have to be able to do that. You know, we've got to find ways um, to give AT and Breezy rest. You know, they, they're playing a lot of minutes. Um, you know, that's a lot on their bodies. Uh, and so, so we've got to find ways to, um, to, to, to get our subs in the ball game, to get, our, 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 get them some, some rest. Now, it, this shows their live minutes. You know, fortunately, we were able to get some of them some rest around the breaks, around the quarters, so they were able to get – get some more there. But you know what, it's, it's going to be a process. Um, sometimes it's going to be based on the opponent and the matchups. Um, sometimes it's going to be based on how we're playing, um, continuity, and, and who's, who's given us a lift um, and what we're getting, getting from, from our players off the bench too. So, you know, it's not, it's not a fine science for us yet. Um, my hope is that we can get there, then we can have it a little bit more scripted, um, but we're not there yet. Mm-hmm.